Do you have blog posts stuck on page two of Google? If so, that's great news, because I'm going to show you how to move them onto page one. My name is Rob Powell, and in this video, I'm going to give you seven techniques for moving your web pages from page two of Google to page one. In this tutorial, I'll be using an SEO tool called Keyword Finder. If you don't already have a Keyword Finder account, you can sign up using the link at the end of this video. To begin with, log into your Keyword Finder account and click on the SERP Watcher tool. On the next screen, click on the URL of your website. Next, click on Filter Keywords. Enter the following filter settings for current position so as to show only keywords that rank on page 2, i.e between positions 11 and 20. You'll now see all your page two keywords listed in descending order. Now take the first keyword in the list and type it into the search box in the All Posts page of your WordPress admin area. This will bring up the blog post that ranks at the top of page two of Google. You now need to tweak this blog post by adding to or editing the content. Here are seven techniques for doing this. Technique one, 10X your content. Type your keyword into Google and then scan the headings and subheadings in the articles that rank above your page in the search results. Make a list of any topics or subtopics those articles cover that your article doesn't. Do your own online research around those points, write new content, and add it to your article. If possible, aim to add 1,000 words of new content to your article. Technique two, embed a video. If your article doesn't already contain a video, go to YouTube, type in the main keyword for your article, and find a useful video on the same topic as your article. Look for a video that has at least 2,500 views and has a good thumbs up to thumbs down ratio. Then embed the article in your video. Just above the article, insert an H2 heading that says watch this video. Make sure the heading includes your main keyword. Also, make sure you tell the reader how many minutes and seconds the video is. People want to know how long a video is before they commit to watching. The time people spend watching that video is going to increase your time on page. And more time on page means your blog post will rank higher in Google. Technique three, adjust the SEO title. Look closely at your SEO title and see if you can implement any of the following. One, add parentheses. They make your SEO title stand out. For example, revised and updated, or the complete guide, or seven steps. Two, Insert the current year. When people scan page one of Google, they naturally want the most up-to-date information. Three, add a number. Numbers stand out from text and will result in more clicks. And the more clicks you get, the higher you'll go in the search rankings. Four, add a symbol. Symbols make your SEO title stand out and also result in a higher click-through rate. Five, make sure your keyword is in the SEO title. Searchers are looking for the search term they just typed into Google. Technique four. Here are three techniques for optimizing your meta description. One, start the meta description with an action word, such as discover, get, or increase. Two, make sure the meta description contains your keyword. Three, Make sure the meta description contains a benefit. Technique five, improve the speed of your page. Page speed, the time it takes your web page to load in a browser, is now a major ranking factor. More than 50% of all searches are now performed on mobile devices. And so naturally, Google wants the results it displays to load fast on a mobile device. Otherwise, it would start losing market share to other search engines. And that's why Google is making page speed a major ranking factor. Google is basically saying, if you want to show up on page one of our platform, 
you'll have to give mobile users a good experience. And that means ensuring that your page loads in under two seconds. Go to Pingdom Tools and paste in the URL of the page you are trying to optimize. If your page takes more than two seconds to load, you need to speed up the load time of that page. On most web pages, images are responsible for the biggest percentage of content by volume. The best online tool by far for shrinking images is Kraken. It's a paid tool, but you can use it for free for about a month of average use. Just sign up and you'll get a fully functioning free account. Then go to the web page you're trying to optimize. Go to the top menu in Chrome and click Save Page As or Command S on a Mac. All the image files for that page will be downloaded into a folder on your hard drive. Now copy all the image files in that folder and paste them into a new folder. Next go to Kraken, upload all the images and shrink them. Then go to the published article and replace the existing images with the ones you just optimized on Kraken. Now go to Pingdom and do your speed test again. In my case, the page now loads in less than two seconds. Notice that the page size has shrunk by more than half. Technique six, improve the readability of your text. How readable is your article? Are your sentences more than 20 words? Are your paragraphs more than four sentences? Do you have big slabs of text without headings to break them up? These are all things that stop people from reading your blog posts. Go to readable.com and do a readability test on your article. Adjust the text of your article until you get a score of A. Technique seven, change the date of publication. Once you've done all this, click on the quick edit tab beneath the blog post title and then change the date to the current date. A word of caution, only change the date of publication if you have updated at least 10% of the article. If you change the publication date without making substantial changes to the content, this will most likely be viewed by Google as an attempt to trick the search engine and could result in a penalty. Go through these seven steps for each of your page two articles and get a quick boost to your traffic. Before I go, here's the link for Keyword Finder that I mentioned at the beginning. That's it for now. Please click on the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen to get notified about my next video. See you next time.